The North Dakota State Bison were a young team in 2011 when they captured a national championship. In 2012, they came in as the favorites and they took more hardware home. This season, they've got 19 of 22 starters back and they are the outright favorites in the FCS. For more on North Dakota State football, we'll take you up to the Fargo Dome. Champs. It has a nice ring to it. It's a title that the Bison are starting to get used to, but winning the last two FCS national championships won't cause complacency. Now, if you're staying hungry, you won't be complacent, but that's easy to talk about, very tough to do. Um, for me, I've had one experience of trying to get the third national championship at another school, and we didn't accomplish it. And the margins for victory are so slim. Uh, you know, you can be really good. Really good is just not good enough. And so we're striving for perfection. It's hard to do. Uh, you know, that's really not uh, a really big concern for us to get overconfident. We're not a bunch of guys that, um, that's just not really not our character. That's not our makeup. And, um, you know, we're just, we're just coming out to practice every day. We want to get better. Well, there are not many questions around this 2013 championship Bison team, but there are a few. One of those, depth at linebacker. And that depth could contain a few North Dakota natives. Bismarck native Esley Thornton was listed as quarterback in last season's spring game. This year, next to his name, it says linebacker. He's making the adjustment to linebacker to fill a thin area for the team. Coach Bowl is encouraged by Thornton's progress. I thought Esley had a great spring and may have made some of the most dramatic progress of any player that we had. He, he's going to play a, a critical role. He'll be in the rotation next year. Well, I'm roommates with Grant Olson, so that's definitely helped me. He's always up there watching film, so whenever I need his help, Coach Standards, any of those guys, they're always willing to help. Harvey, North Dakota native MJ Stump will be a redshirt freshman and can't wait to add to the team's depth at linebacker. We've got a lot of work to do in the summer. It's going to be a long summer. Um, fall camp is going to be crucial, and I'm going to, you know, just have to really bust my butt just to, you know, try and get on the field and, you know, get the coach's trust. At cornerback, on one side of the field, you've got Marcus Williams. He's an NFL prospect and is as close as there is to a shutdown corner in the FCS. But on the other side of the field, there are some question marks as to who will lock up that starting spot. C.J. Smith, Brendan Pierre, and even Zach Colvin have a shot at it. To see how they became and when they first got here, like C.J. and Champ, just watching these guys grow, and Zach as well, just watching these guys grow, it's a good thing to see these guys out here playing now because I feel, I mean, I feel like we could put anybody out there and they're going to get the job done regardless of who it is. Along with replacing Andre Martin at corner, the Bison are looking to replace the top center in the FCS last season, Joe Lund. The Bison have to feel good that they only have to replace three starters to graduation. There's also some off the field news for the Bison, as in who is off the field. 20 Bison aren't suited up for this spring game, and 8 of 19 returning starters haven't seen action this spring due to off season injuries. Coach Bowl believes getting these inactives active is the top priority for fall camp. Just because they played last year, they, they've got to get back up to speed, and we're going to have to get up to speed in a hurry. Kansas State's right around the corner, and that's probably the biggest concern that I have, making sure those guys are game day ready. All in all, the green and gold game provided a glimpse of the excitement on just how good this team can be. Their 2013 schedule gets underway with a Big 12 opponent in Kansas State. Next, we check in with the Jackrabbits from A to Z, as in Austin Sumner to Zach Zenner. <laughs> 